Hi everyone, my name is Mundry and today we are talking about housing at UC Davis. I just realized I have worn a block top in the last three videos, but they're all different block tops, but they're all like spaghetti straps. Do I have a problem? No. And the funny thing is I have like three more tops like this. Not important. <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about all the housing that UC Davis offers. The clips I'm going to include in here come from another YouTube video. I just wanted to expand on the information because the information is not current anymore. So I wanted to tell you guys basically everything I could possibly tell you about housing at University of California at Davis. I want to make sure I give you guys the most accurate picture of what housing is like here so you guys can make informed decisions. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. I already have a lot of Davis related videos. I'll link them below and yeah don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Like I said I'm gonna be putting clips over it. They don't own any of these clips. I am using it for educational purposes so I shouldn't get copyrighted so yeah. So there are three different residence halls. Each of them have their own service center, market, dining commons, and yeah. So in each of those service centers, which are located at each of the three residence halls, is a computer lab, printers, tutoring, service people to help you if you are locked out. Basically, you can also rent out things like blenders, games, mixers, what else? Pans, pots, utensils. You can rent that all out there at each and every service center. You can also get your mail at every service center. So like I said, there are three. And the first one I'm going to talk about is Tercero. Tercero is where I personally lived in, so I have the most experience with. There are basically only triples, which is three people living in a room, and singles. There are very, very, very rarely any doubles. They basically made it so they could optimize as many people as they can. There are basically a bunch of buildings, but in Tercero, the laundry is always on the first floor. Sometimes people live on the first floor, some of them people don't, so I lived on the first floor. The laundry was very convenient, it was just down the hall, and the laundry is on the first floor for the entire building. I can't even estimate how many people are in the entire building, maybe like 200. So that was all on the ground floor. So anyone else who lived on the upper floors, which is like two, three, four, and five, they had to bring it down. In addition, each floor has bathrooms, obviously, and in the one I was in on the ground floor, there was only one for men and women. However, when I went up to the second floor, there is a men, women, and gender neutral. So if that is something that you need to make a special request about, I would definitely recommend doing that. Davis is very respectful. But basically, the ground floor is supposed to be wheelchair accessible, so there aren't too many first floor dorms in the other areas. So Tercera actually has two dining commons now. One of them is located kind of centrally. It's really close to the service center. That one basically has pretty average food. They always have burgers, pizza, all that stuff. That's also located at the other dining commons as well. There's not too much special about the food. They always have a salad bar after 11 a.m. I believe until the time they close, which I believe is 8 p.m. Maybe 9. Don't kill me if I'm wrong about that. They also always through that time have bread out so you can always toast stuff and included in the salad bar is they basically include some kind of stuff you can put if you want to make your own sandwich and there is like a griller for you to do that. However, there is no definitive way to prevent contamination, so if you're worried about that, you should be. It's very oily. Tresera food is subpar at best. As a vegetarian, I found myself not having that many options some days. I mean, there's always a vegetarian pizza and a meat pizza, but in general, sometimes it's like you've had the same thing and you're kind of getting sick of it. They, kind of, they obviously have to cycle through the same certain amount of food, so it is what it is. It's sad, but... You know, we deal with it. If you are not vegetarian, there are a lot of options, but once again, they have to repeat options every so often, so it does get kind of sickening. They don't really know how to season their food. <laughs> Sometimes the food ends up having no taste, other times it ends up being kind of spicy, and it is a little disappointing, but overall, at least they have options, and like I said, if you're vegan and have any restrictions, you're kind of just stuck to the salad bar. Sometimes they offer vegan options, sometimes they offer vegetarian options, but if you don't, you're kind of restricted to the salad bar. For desserts, they have dairy-free desserts if you ask them. They don't put it out for display, but basically they have a decent amount of vegan options from what I've seen. 
Sometimes they don't, but most days they do. And uh, they always have three sorts of ice creams, quite a few cookies, some sort of cake, ice cream bars. So there are a lot of options there. That food is pretty universal. All of those food options are also offered at Segundo. In terms of location, Tercero is located fairly close to all of these STEM classes. And like I said, if you request a triple, you're not gonna live in Segundo. So that's that. And I don't think you can request the actual location where you want to live anymore, so it is what it is. But basically, Tercero is located near a lot of the STEM classes. It's located near, which these things mean nothing to you, but I'm going to insert a map so you guys can see it, but Sci Lecture Hall, which is where basically most of the beginning science classes for me and my friends are located. It's a huge lecture hall, 500 people, and Geet Hall, that one's like right behind where I lived in Tercero, so it's really convenient, really close by, and basically you don't have to bike anywhere necessarily. I mean, some the whole campus is enormous, so you have to bike some places or it takes a while, which personally I hate things taking a while, so you would constantly find me biking, but overall I'm walking to a minimum, but like I said, most of my friends walked places when they lived in Tercero. Unfortunately for Segundo, it is much farther away. There are basically no classes that are located quick walking distance. Basically for, from Tercero, most of these things are 5 to 10 minutes. Anything that you walk from Segundo is 10 to 15 minutes. The main downside of Tercero is obviously that it's a triple, but you are paying less for your housing because you have to share less space. The other thing is that Tercero is not located near any outside shops, however I, with a five day meal plan, managed to live. I just eat five days a week there and they give us Aggie cash, which is basically cash you can spend in those markets that I mentioned that are located at each and every set of housing. So there's one at Tercero, Segundo, and Corto. Tercero has a market where you can buy a decent amount of food. I've seen vegan options, they have yogurt, cheeses, salads, microwavable food, frozen food, coffee. They have some muffins and some popcorn chicken and stuff out. And they also have these milkshake type things that they do. They're all made with purees, so they're definitely not healthy, but there are options. They also have the ton of snacks, scantrons, gum, candy, it's all there. I do have to say though that Tercero does lack in their options of what they have in the market. I have noticed the Segundo one has more, but just out of laziness for the fact that Segundo is nowhere near where I live, I don't love it, so I never end up going to Segundo and I just deal with whatever that Tercero. Lastly, I wanted to talk about the other dining commons that is near Tercero. It is basically brand new. It is called Latitude. The food there is what people would call ethnic. I hate using that word, and if it's offensive, I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. I just can't think of another word. Basically, it is food that is not American. They have quite a variety. On multiple occasions they have served sushi, they have varieties of Indian food, they have varieties of Mexican food, and from what I've heard it tastes good. However, 99.9% .9 of the time their food does contain meat and they do not have any vegetarian options. So every time I go there I end up not really eating anything, but every single one of my friends, 9 out of 10 of them have liked the food there. The food there is, in, from what I've heard, quite a bit better. Some people say that it's on and off too though, but overall you do get more variety. You're not eating just your average burger, salad every day. This is a place to switch it up. They also have really nice coffee machines as compared to the normal Tercero Dining Commons. The ones here are fancier, they make fancier things. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Attached to Latitude is another place where you can buy food, so it's like a market. However, they sell more like fresh food, so I remember they've had macaroni salad, pasta salad, some lemon salads. They have like some like yakisoba, which is like these Japanese noodles. They have quite a bit of variety. They also serve uh, ice cream and sorbet and they can make those into smoothies, so they have that kind of variety as well. You can pay for all of this with Aggie Cash, which basically when you sign on and live on campus, you get 200 of it each quarter, so that's good to go. You can definitely use that. That is pretty much it for Tercero. And just to recap, it's good for being close to all of the science classes like GEET and Sci Lecture Hall and the Science Lab Building. All those things are really close by and it's honestly very convenient. But like I said, you can always bike places. Pretty much everyone I know has a bike. Tercero also has two dining commons, so that can be convenient in terms of timing. You have multiple places to go, and even if it's crowded, you can go to the other place. There's laundry on the first floor of every building, and there is dryers and washers. The dryers are $1, and the washers are $1.25. In my building in particular, there were 
So Segundo. Basically everyone in Segundo has a double. Never heard of anyone with a single except for my friend whose roommate moved out. That was messy. So clearly not that situation. But basically everyone there has a double. It is a teeny bit more space because even though the rooms are bigger in Tercero because they're triples, it's still overall divided amongst people. There's more space per person in Segundo. I think they might have had triples in the past but they do not there anymore so if you request to have one other roommate and that's for a double you're definitely going to be living there now what's in proximity so there is a very close by trader joe's starbucks world market it is definitely walking distance there is a crosswalk it is a pretty like big main street but it's really close to that area so if you ever feel like the food isn't enough which i i mean i do so i don't understand why most people wouldn't you can definitely go and check out the food at Trader Joe's. Like I said, your Aggie Cash will last you, so there's a service center there. This service center is open 24 hours. The Tercero one is not. So this one is basically you can print 24-7, you can go to the computer lab 24-7. So they have all those resources open 24-7. Once again, like I said, the market is a bit bigger here at the Segundo area. They do also have more variety. I've noticed they have like more yogurt drinks, basically some of the more picky varieties they've got. I also noticed that they had a lot more vegetarian and vegan options for frozen meals and stuff that they had. So I thought that was pretty awesome and I really appreciated that. For Segunda food, it is pretty much comparable to what they offer at Tercero. They're supposed to not be any different. The only thing is that they offer this thing called late night, which basically they have food that's around 11 p.m. on Monday through Thursday. So basically, if you want food later at night, they're open. Tercero is not ever open that late. So if you ever want food that is late, then you get it from the Segundo Dining Commons. I actually never did that. It's bad to eat late at night and I didn't want it to deal with the freshman 15, so I didn't do that. But as someone who lived in Tercero, it was also not very convenient to go for that. So that's an option you have if you live in Segundo. The dorms at Segundo are also older, so they tend to look a little bit more run down, but they are not. Honestly, in my friends, even though her room looked a little shorter with smaller ceilings, so it didn't look as large as like my dorm did. Honestly, they had a lot of built-in furniture. It looked like someone put in like nice closet rolled furniture and things and it was like really well organized. There was definitely room for lots of storage. They already had the storage there. They also have under the bed storage, desk storage. There's tons of room. Same with living in a triple. Triple also seems really small, but there is still tons of room. I had tons of under the bed storage, storage um, near the walls. Trust me, you're good. Lastly, I wanted to mention that Segundo did not have gender neutral bathrooms the last time I checked. Per pretty much they only have a guys and a male and female. They didn't have any gender neutral or non-binary bathrooms the last time I checked. So if that is an issue for you, you would have to live in Tercero. I don't know if they're working on converting things. I actually just remember walking by last time I was at my friend's dorm and not seeing it and being kind of surprised because honestly Davis should be doing this so once again if that's an issue for you I'm sorry. The other thing is there is no study space on the Segundo dorms other than the ground floor. So the ground floor has this big study lounge and a couch and a TV which is amazing. All the ground floors have a TV so that's something to note. But they don't have study lounge spaces on every floor unlike the Tercero dorm that I've been to. So that's something to keep in mind. You are, if you want to go down and study somewhere else, it's kind of a lag. I remember my friend who lives on the fourth floor. She basically studies in her room because to take all her stuff and go down four flights of stairs and come back up is a pain. Personally for me, since I lived on the ground floor, I would just walk out to the study room and it would literally be like a 30 second walk. For her, it's like two minutes going downstairs. So that's something to also keep in mind. If that's something that means a lot to you, having a good study space that's easily accessible, then I definitely wouldn't recommend Segundo. Lastly, the laundry. So basically each floor has laundries. I've heard that they have significantly less. My friend said that they have two washers and two dryers on each floor, which is less than, like I said, Tercero, but remember Tercero has them all on the ground floor and mine had six and six. She said that there were two and two per each floor. So that's something else. The laundry seems to be a little bit more accessible. 
It's still the same price, $1 for drying and $1.25 for washing. Oh, it's in close proximity to the Ark as well, which is the gym. The gym is enormous, it has so many amenities and it's open from 5 a.m. Honestly, I would have liked to live in Segundo because it's glass close to the gym. The gym opens at like 5 a.m. and it's closed at midnight, so that would have been really convenient to go to and they have all these group exercise classes, so yeah. So I think that sums it up for Segundo. I once again wanted to do a little summary. Segundo is close to the Ark, Trader Joe's, World Market, Starbucks, so they have all those options. It's also got a better market, but keep in mind that there are only doubles offered there, so you have one roommate only, but it is more expensive than living in Tercero. So lastly is Corto, which honestly I know the least about. I basically didn't know a single person to live there, and I have my, you know, my threads pretty far and wide, but basically it is off-campus housing. It is near the Trader Joe's area. Like I said, Trader Joe's is located near Segundo, but Trader Joe's is not on campus. You have to go through a crosswalk. So this is a little farther out. If you live in Corto, you definitely have to bike to get to campus. So that is kind of unfortunate, but basically they don't have enough housing on campus, so that's what you have to do. Pretty much everyone who lives in Cordro has a triple. It is sweet style living. So, you know, you get bathrooms and all those things. So it's definitely spacious. I believe it is the same cost as living in Tercero in a triple. They also have their own dining services and their own service center. So basically you can do all your printing and other stuff over there. And basically it's not too bad. If you have classes late in the evening during winter quarter, it might seem a little scary, but it's not the end of the world. I'm sure your friends you can walk back with. But like I said, for the most part, you know, the sun gets up at decent hours and closes down to decent hours. So you can definitely be walking around and biking around in the daytime and you'll feel plenty safe. The main con of Corto is that it is far away. I've heard the food is amazing there though and unfortunately I did not get a chance to try their food which I'm really sad about but I've heard their food is kind of exquisite and they're like super extra there so I'm probably going to actually pay to try their food next year because I want to and so I just wanted to give the largest summary ever. I know this video is already very long but if you've lasted this long you probably want to know a condensed version of everything so I'm going to give you that. So the pros of Tercero, it's close to classes. You have two dining commons, so a little bit more options. It's cheaper for your cost of living. You have laundries on the bottom floor and your kitchens are kind of sparsely out there. Basically for the kitchen, there wasn't one in my floor, but there is one shared among three sets of residence halls. So that's not convenient at all. So I'm not, I'm going to include that on the cons. So for cons, you do have to have two roommates, so it can get a little bit cramped. If you don't live on the first floor, it is annoying to have to get your laundry around. The Tercero dining food is not the best. It can get quite a bit crowded at the dining halls, even though we have two dining commons, especially at times like 12 p.m. It's not near the gym. It's not near any eating establishments that you get like a little bit of choice and options. And then for Segundo, so the pros are that you get a nice spacious room with only one roommate. You get to have food from Segundo, which I've heard is better. Personally, I think that Tercero and Segundo food taste pretty much the same, but I'm gonna go with the majority opinion of what pretty much everyone else I've said thinks, which is that Segundo food is better than Tercero food, although they technically serve the same thing. And cons for Segundo, basically you have no study lounge space on your own floor. You definitely have to take a hike. You are not close by to any classrooms at all. Everything is at least a five minute bike ride and it is definitely a 10 to 20 minute walk. There's only one dining commons, but it can get crowded there. So that might be annoying around meal times. It is more expensive to live there because you're paying for only living with one roommate as opposed to two in Tercero. I think that is all the cons for Segundo. And lastly, we are going to go on to Quarto. So for the pros of Quarto, you have sweet style living. So it is a little more open in terms of your space. They definitely have more space from everything I've seen so far. They get their own bathrooms. And for cons, it is far away from the actual classes in campus. It might be scary when it is dark outside. Oh, another pro I forgot to mention was that their food is supposed to be the best. So that is all I have for today's video. If you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've made other videos about Davis. I have a video about why I chose Davis, basically all the best things about Davis. So if you're looking forward to coming to Davis, feel free to check that out. If you have any video requests or questions about what housing or any aspect of Davis is like, please let me know. I'm happy to answer those questions for you. I also make videos about other aspects of college as well as fitness and how to grow your YouTube channel. So you can feel free to check out 
any of that content. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!